Now this really is creating history in the world of initial public offerings because this is the first public offering by a startup, in this case Zomato with its 9,375 crore IPO. We take a look on the first day on how it's actually doing and also at what Dipinder Goel, the founder of Zomato said about the journey and why fellow startups are all coming forward in a display of team spirit. Zomato is the hottest thing on the IPO menu for a long time. An initial public offering or stock launch is a public offering in which shares of a company are sold to institutional investors and usually also retail investors. The food delivery app hopes to raise 9,375 crore rupees, but over 4,000 crores has already been booked by anchor investors, which are institutional investors invited to subscribe to the shares before IPOs open, and also including sovereign wealth funds even before the IPO opened today. The demand was reportedly 30 times higher than shares on offer. We received an extremely positive response uh, from global and domestic institutional investors. As I always said, I think we're very excited to see the response, but it also puts a lot of responsibility on us. And we hope that we'll get a similar response from uh, retail and other domestic non-institutional investors as well. Tiger Global, BlackRock, Fidelity, JP Morgan, HDFC Mutual Fund, Tata Mutual Fund and Abu Dhabi Investors Authority among others include sovereign wealth funds invested as anchor investors. On day one, at the upper limit of 76 per share, the IPO was fully subscribed 1.07 times, with retail subscription at 1.65 times. For founder Dipinder Goyal, who owns 5.5% of the company, this is a massive recognition of his journey, which began as a popular restaurant search and discovery platform. In 2016, he was part of NDTV's Indian of the Year as a startup. If someone can't spend a day at getting the company incorporated, then that person shouldn't be doing a startup anyway. Journey has always been tough. It never gets easy, no matter where you get. And uh, I think thrice at our, in our uh, journey, we've gotten to a point that we can't do this anymore. With this IPO, Zomato's market cap is expected to be 60,000 crore rupees more than other food firms like Jubilee Foodworks, Burger King India and more than major hotel groups put together. All this even though Zomato is about 1.3 crore rupees in debt. What investors are looking at is growth and how much market it can capture. Incredible to see the success of all of these companies. Uh, many of them which are based on uh, uh, technology. The way uh, the market and investors value a technology company is very different. So even if it is a loss-making company, uh, if there is a sense that uh, the uh, promoters are very strong, people do uh, like to participate. The IPO is expected to finance expansion and job creation. The company will be listed on the exchanges in a couple of weeks and analysts expect a premium listing. But because the company doesn't have any assets of its own and the market has potential for more players to come in, the growth can be debated. In Mumbai with camera person Rajendra Dhyalka, this is Subhashit News for NDTV.